cardio kickboxing class. Get ready for today, whole lot of punches and kicks. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna work our entire body, get stronger, and really work that cardio today, getting that heart rate up. So you're gonna need some space around you today to move forward and back and side to side. You're also gonna need a mat for the end of the class as we work our core muscles and upper body. You might want some water as well because we are definitely gonna be breaking a sweat today. So clear some space around you, get ready in that ring as we warm things up and prepare for that fight. So let's warm things up here, going into jacks, in and out with the feet. If we're keeping it low impact today, check it out, you're going to take it to squats instead. Bending those knees, sitting down, warming up the glutes and thighs. You decide. Now how about we set that guard? Two strong fists, bring it up here, guarding your face. All right, ready to let out some steam, let out some stress. Ready to feel good? Jump it wide, cross, jab here. We are aiming for the nose, straight ahead. Make two strong fists, extend out. Feel that twist in your waistline. Now change it to hooks. Now with the hook, elbow comes up. We're aiming now for the jaw. Not your jaw. Imagine there's someone right in front of you. Yeah, you're aiming for someone else's jaw. Strong, feel that twist in the hips, that lift of the heel. Now get ready for a boxer stance. On the right, take it forward. Now jab cross, four, three, two, one, take it back. Give me two jabs. Take it forward. One, two, three, four, take it back. Two jabs. You got it. Now keep it going. Maybe you got the space travel a little further. One more. Now hold it here, bring those jacks to center. Reset, guard up, tummy in. Jump wide, jab cross, left, right. Yes. Aiming for that nose once again. Bending those knees a bit. Yeah, get a little lower into it. Now change this to hooks. Left, right. Left, right, yep, just like before. Elbow up, aiming for that jaw. How are you feeling? Starting to feel a little bit warmer? Heart rate making its way up. Last hook, now jacks. Get it out with those feet. Now get ready for that boxer stance. Taking it forward on the left. Here we go, take it forward. Cross jab, one, two, three, four. Take it back, two jabs, getting out. Or two squats. Looking good. Keep going. Travel a little further ahead if you can. One more. Take it back. Pull those jacks. Bring it to center. All right, let's continue to warm up. Continue to raise that heart rate. Keep breathing. Keep squeezing those fists. Check this out. 
Two punches to the right, two jacks. Two punches to the left, two jacks. So look to the side and step two steps. Two big steps. Strong with that punch. Now how about we speed it up? Four punches with the shuffle, two jacks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, go after it. Bring it back to center, shuffle. Jacks eating out. And remember, if we're not jumping, we're still squatting here instead of the jacks. Sounds good? Keep going. All right, this time two jabs, throw, left. Two jabs to the right. Here. 
So guard a little bit lower this time. But still with those strong fists, yeah? So this is just a tease. Showing me you're ready to go. And get ready for those kicks. Next one, kick it. Yes. So before, if you were aiming for the knee, this time aiming for the chest. Kick a little higher if you can. Maybe we're aiming for that head. If you are, lean back a little further. Snap that kick. Last one. Let's shuffle. Shuffle low. And then side kick. Shuffle low. Side kick. So lean a little to the side to kick a little higher. Push through that heel. Last one. Hold it in center, repeater kick. Yes. Here, step, step, kick right away. So lower body is feeling now just as warm as that upper body. Ready to kick up that intensity? Ready to really work that cardio? Last kick. March on the spot or bring it to a jog. That's your higher impact option. So it's okay if you need to keep it a little bit lower today. You decide. Now jump it wide, uppercuts. Right and left. So a different punch now. Now here you're aiming for the chin. So elbows in tight. We're not letting those elbows come back. We're not swinging the arms like this. So keep it tight in. Abs in. Knees bent. Let's get a little more powerful with those punches. Now can we change this to hooks? Right, left. We know the hook. Add a little more power. Twist to that hip. Make sure you're lifting the heel, protecting the knees. Now get ready for a cross jab. On the right, here we go. Jab, cross. We're in the fight now. Yeah. Keep going. Drop a little lower. Jump wide. In and out with those feet with your jacks. We love these jacks, don't we? Helps raise that heart rate. Not traditional to kick boxy, but it works the heart rate, gets us stronger and fitter. Jump wide and hook. Hook it out here. How's that feeling? Feeling strong? Jab cross. Are right, you ready for another round? We're not giving up yet, we're just starting the fight. Keep with the jab cross here. Bring it back to the hooks. Right and left. Bring it in. This time, boxer stance. Left foot forward. Jab, cross. So back heel is up, allowing us to twist. Boxers want to be light on the feet. Ready to pounce. So can you get a, little, get a little lower? Can you extend that punch a little further? Can you keep it going? Put those fists up. Take your jacks in and out with the feet, bring it to center. How you doing out there? 
Yeah. We're in it. Jump your wide and hook. Hook. Breathe in here. Things are starting to get sweaty, aren't they? Jab cross. All right, we're going to continue to get that heart rate up. A little bit more speed, a little bit more power with this one. So taking it now into a new kind of punch. It's called body ribs. So here, guard is up, right, left. So we're getting a little bit lower on this one. We're leaning into it, aiming for the ribs. So now if someone's right in front of you, you're going right for the ribs, right to the gut. Punch, punch, woo! Yes, then bring it right back up to that guard, right up to the chin, right up to the jawline. Two, 
one. Now add a triple pulse coming down. Three, two, one. Squeeze up. Yes. Getting low. Three little pulses and then back up. Last one. Now check this out. Three pulses low. Two, three, and then kick. Oh yeah. One, two, three, and kick. Two more like that. Lean back slightly on that kick. Brace those abs nice and tight. Now moving on, we're gonna lunge down and kick. For eight, seven, come on. Six, five, four, feel those legs working. Last kick here. Step it in, shake it out. How about back to those two more squats? Feet wide, down, and up. Not much of a break, right? Break from the lunge, which you really should have felt that into the left leg. Now, second time through, can you get deeper into those squats? Can you get a little lower? Keeping that chest up. Keep that guard up here. Last squat. Squeeze it up. All right, take those feet, hip width apart. This time, got the left foot lunges back. Square the hips, you're on the back ball of your foot. Hands to hips, chest nice and proud. We start again with single lunges. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now have a triple pose, down low. For three, two, one, squeeze up. Get low. Feel that burn into the legs. Those legs getting nice and strong. One more like that. Now we have a triple pulse with the kick. Three, two, one, and kick. So keep that right foot grounded. Find that support into that right leg. Last one here. Now just the kicks. Down and kick for eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last kick. Shake those legs. All right, done with the legs. Let's get that heart rate back up. Feet wide, uppercut. Right, left. Woo! How was that for you? <laughs> oh, yes. Legs definitely felt that work. So now we're gonna to start to get that heart rate back up. How does that sound? You ready for it? Another blast of cardio? Yes. Now can you add a little more power with that punch? Drop your low using that leg. That stretch, should I say, of more legs. So now we have that string in our legs to power those punches even more. Now we're gonna change this into a double uppercut. Two to the left, two to the right. Yes. Notice that my fist comes right back to the jawline with each and every punch. I'm dipping the shoulder, using that core strength here. See how I'm using the lens? Yeah. Now back. Single uppercut, right, left. Great work, jab cross. You know this jab cross here. Or forward jab, should I say? We drop down low. Now check out the rhythm. One, two, three, four, hook. Four jabs, two hooks. Chest proud, 
pump those arms. And if we're not doing high knees, we're doing high knee march instead. I told you we're gonna get that heart rate up again. So to get that heart rate up, we get those knees nice and high. Can you take it forward? Let's see those knees, come on. Right up to the top of the screen. Take it back. <laughs> Keep getting those knees up. Yes, jump you wide. Up with this. Breathe it here. Double upper cut. Yeah, and these double upper, upper cuts, it's a little slower, but there's more power, more strength. Last one, jab cross. Now, if you're punching down here, can you get those fists up a little higher? I know those shoulders are burning. They're supposed to. Let's jump in it. High knees. Knees come up. Pump those arms. Take it towards me, and as you take it forward, I want you to keep those knees up. Don't let them drop. Yes, now take it back. Keep those knees up as you're taking it back. Pump those arms. Take it forward again. Get those knees up. I see you there. Take it back. You got this. Again, take it forward. Take it back. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. Jump it wide. Uppercuts. Woohoo! How's your heart feeling now? Sweat is flying everywhere. Double uppercut. Increasing that power here. Keeping those double uppercuts. Time now to take your chance and bring that cardio to the next level. Are you ready? This is your chance. Side shuffle. Two knees. Side shuffle. Two knees. It's the outer knee that comes up. And clasp those hands together. So side shuffle. Two knees. Last one here. Take it center. Uppercuts. So that was your preview rep. Now you're push it a little more. Double uppercut. Side shuffle. Two knees. Side shuffle. Strong with those arms. Get that knee up. And if you want more, add a jump. Almost two knees. Two more. Take it to center. Uppercuts. So now you know it. We're going to do that one more time. Double uppercuts. One more round. We're in it. Now pose. Yes. Add that hook. 
Can you get still any lower? Get lower on that shot, go bend on the knees. Take that chance. Last one. Back to center. Uppercuts. Cowboy dance. Get low. Punch harder. Double uppercut. I know those arms be like Java. Now single uppercuts. Now we have one more song to work that cardio. Are you ready for that challenge? Final five minutes in that ring. Time to knock it out. Box your stance, right foot forward. Check this out. Jab, cross, poke. Jab, cross, poke. Yes. So this is where we empty up the tank. This is where we give it everything we got. No holding back, no regrets. Just the jab cross. So I want you to drop in a little lower. I want you to keep those fists up. Keep it in for that nose. Maybe it's me. In for my nose. Let's set it on fire here. Final round in the ring. Now take it to jacks. In and out with the feet. Bring it to center. Ready for a forward jab here, Jax. Jump it wide. Right then left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fist up. Woo! 
Jump it in, step it in. Jog on the spine. How you feeling there? Feeling good? Feeling strong? Feeling tough? Yeah, you are. So now what's going to happen is we're going to bring down the heart rate a little bit. We've done some lower body conditioning for good kicks. Now we're going to do some upper body core conditioning for some good strong punches. How's that sound? Sounds good? March it out. So this is the point that you're going to want your mat, maybe a quick sip of water. So go grab that for yourself. You can always press pause, but don't take too much of a break. Still want to keep that energy up to get through this core work ahead. All right. So once you've got that water, you get your mat out and ready. Woo. And let's say this is going to be easy. The core work is never easy, is it? So we're going to be starting with push-ups. Oh yeah, push-ups, good for the shoulders. So come on down. Push-up position. Hands come wider than your mat. So make sure your hands are off the mat and your chest is forward. Now if you like, you can start on the knees. We're going down and up. Elbows out to the sides, and be nice and strong. Look down at the front of your mat. You know what to do if you want more though. Get up on the toes. Give it a try. Get a few in here. If you can, lower down to the knees. Four more. Last one. Lower to knees, and let's set up for hover position. So you're going to be on the forks here, interlace fingers, elbows shoulder width apart, chest forward so shoulders over elbows. Now you can always walk those knees a little further back, but keep it forward here. Now if you want more, you can curl the toes to the knees, squeeze those glutes nice and tight. How do you feel here? Want a little bit more? Check this out. Right foot taps to the side, left foot taps to the side. Oh yeah, bringing that knee in towards the elbow. How does that feel? You can get that foot to tap down if you need to, or keep it up. Oh yeah, if we can, we want to keep that up. Working the entire core here. Walk below that midsection, look at your fist. Last one. From the hover, take it down to your belly. Up curl toes, stretch the arms forward. Working that back posterior chain. So abs in, glutes engaged. Get ready to lift up. We're gonna lift and then lower. Lift it up and then take it down. Now keep those arms and legs straight and if you can. Arms and legs are strong. Feel all that work into the back side of your body. Last one. Now once you recruit, come down. Side abdominal crunch. Roll towards me. Kick up the bottom bar now. Put the side palm is up. Tilt it back slightly. Abs strong. Fingers to temples. Single leg. We're going to lift and bring it in towards the chest. We're going to reach towards that foot as that knee comes in. Your aim here is to lift the side of your waistline up off your mat. So yes, get on up. Can you use that form to help a little bit? So push you up, but we really want to work into those side abdominals, obliques. Now you want a little more? Both knees draw in. Yeah, keep those feet together. Extending and pushing those heels out as you lower. Last one, release down. Now we're not done. We're going to go through that all once again. So come on up. Let's turn to face the other side now. Push up position. Take those hands wide. So they're not there. I'm not a tricep push up. Shoulder push up, hands as wide as the neck. Chest forward, knees, or if you want this time, start on the toes. Here we go. Down and up. So squeeze those glutes. Make sure your pelvis isn't dropping down. Pelvis should never come down to the mat. Might be a sign you're letting your abs go, so if that's happening, simply just lower to the knees. 
Can you get that chest a little lower towards the mat? Four more. Can you get to the toes? Yes. Last one. Take to the knees. Set up for that hover. Down on the forearms. Interlace fingers. Elbow shoulder width. Bring that chest forward. Chin is up. Look at your knuckles. Stay on the knees. You can walk them back further. Find that adjustment. Or curl the toes with the knees. Squeeze those glutes. Feel strong. Not up here. And not down here. This is not a break. Feels like a break. You're not in the right spot. If you want it, add that side toe tap. So that knee draws you towards the elbow. Really work those obliques. Work those back and shoulders. Those abs. If you want more, keep that foot up off the floor when you're drawing that knee in. Four more. Last one. Knees down. Take it down to your mat. Extend those arms forward. Abs in. Glutes engage. Arms and legs nice and strong. Once you're set, let's lift and roll. Up, and then down. So we're really feel that squeeze, feel that lift. Make sure that we're not just collapsing down. Feel that control. Where do we look? We can look right at the front of our mat. Keep reaching out to those fingers and toes. Last one. One, two, lower down. Let's work those side abdominals. Roll towards me. Take that bottom out and arm out. Palm up. Tilt me back slightly. Abs in. Fingers to toes. Start with the single leg. Lifting lower. And add that reach towards the heel. Almost done with the core upper body work. Core rate should be down a little bit now from that. But those muscles are working strong right there. I told you this is going to be a great full body workout. Not just for cardio, but for that strength as well. Do you want more? Add both knees. Pull it in. Final eight. Last four. Squeeze it in a little tighter. Can you lift and reach a little further? Can you reach past some feet? Last one, and release down. Awesome job. Let's roll to our back. Woo. Let's extend the legs, point toes, reach your arms above your head, take a nice long stretch. Feel that into the abs. Bring it here. All right, arms to the side, bend those knees. We're going to end with a nice cool down and stretch. So when you're ready for it, hamstring stretch, right leg up. Straight the leg, flex the foot, grab the hand straight. Or sliding the hands further up the leg. But maintain a straight leg so we don't lose that stretch. Alright, so now is where we get to bring that heart rate fully down. Feeling it down now. Bring that ankle on the thigh for a glute stretch. You take your hands, reach on in, grab that hamstring. And you can pull it in closer so you're feeling that into the right glute and calf. Especially after those lunges, right? All those hips. We need this stretch. Or we would be really, really tight tomorrow. <laughs> and we want to be able to move tomorrow, right? <laughs> so that's why we stretch. Hands release, lower foot and cross the leg. And now we're going to extend that left leg all the way up. Grab the hamstring. Foot is flexed. And maybe we're sliding the hands further up if we're feeling more flexible today. And if we're not, that's okay. That's why we stretch. Feel more flexibility. This flexibility can give us better kicks, better range of movement, higher kicks. Now let's go into that glute stretch, angle to five, 
can reach on through when you're ready. Grab that hamstring. And if you need more, you're going to pull that body closer in, keeping your head down. Now let's lower that front, uncross the leg, add your knees and chest, grab the hamstrings, you hold it all the way up, and come up to the knees. You stretch our hip flexors, so you can take your right foot forward, sit the hips forward. Alright, reach that left guard up, take it over to the side, stretch those obliques, stretch those lats, can you reach the floor, do that a little more. Keep lifting that chest up. Alright, come on up, switch legs, left foot forward, sink the hips into it, knee lining up with angle, and it's at that side that you're going to reach up, that right arm, take it to the side, oh yes, yeah, feels really good, doesn't it? Can you reach into the floor, can you more? Let's come back up, bring that leg in, and we're going to come all the way to standing now. Last few stretches, right arm across for a shoulder stretch. Definitely need to stretch those shoulders after all those punches. Open up, other side. And just notice how you're feeling after this workout. More energized? Powerful, strong, stress-free. Open arms up. Let's stretch the chest. Hands behind, interlace. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Press knuckles down. Lift the chin. Move forward. Let's stretch the upper back. Interlace fingers. Push forward. Separate shoulder blades. Tuck the chin down. Lift your arms and chest. Release the arms down, roll the shoulders. Step it in, one blade, one fist. Respecting on you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. This was your cardio kickboxing class, and my name is Francis. I hope you have a lot of fun today. Thank you so much for joining me in the ring, and I can't wait to fight once again with you soon. Take care.